Hej. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. First off, I look pretty busted. I'm really tired. I think I'm actually going to take like a power nap after this because I have like no energy left. Today I have an updated washi routine video for you guys because I know that you really enjoy these and whenever I switch up something in my hair routine, I like to just do an updated video. You can kind of see like the process of my hair growth and stuff. Since I've cut my hair last year, it's definitely grown a lot, but it's also broken off a lot, so my hair is not perfect, and um, it's not in its healthiest state right now. I need to get a haircut, and I need to do protective styling. I've been wearing it at ponytails a lot, which has been kind of like making my edges a little thinner, but yeah, I'm just going to show you what I do to my hair to wash it and like whatever. You guys enjoy it, and let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to do is pre through my hair. And I usually did this with coconut oil, but I've been using that pre poo method for literally years, so I wanted to try out something different. For the past couple of weeks, I've been using a combination of almond oil and castor oil. And my hair right now, it needs to be washed, and it has a lot of flakes for my gel in there because I've been like putting gel in my hair, and whenever you, that like dries and you brush it, like it becomes flaky. So usually in the morning if I'm just redoing my hair, I would add water, oil, and then gel and that would kind of like get rid of the flakes but obviously now I've brushed it out. I haven't tried to, you know, fix that and there's a lot of flakes in my hair but <clears throat> that isn't dandruff. I have been dealing with dandruff lately but I got a dandruff shampoo, like anti-dandruff shampoo and it did work. When I, I've only used it once and it did work pretty well. Um, so I'm going to use that today as well, but I'm going to show you later what I'm using to wash my hair. First, I'm just going to get some almond oil, and I don't have a mirror, so I'm going to be using my viewfinder as a mirror. And I'm just going to tie one section up, and just literally get like a ton of this in my hand, and just put it in. grown a lot for sure but it is very damaged and broken off especially like in the front these little pieces are pretty broken off just from me not taking that good of a care good good care good of a care what am I saying I haven't been taking great care of my hair I should be doing more protective styles which I am planning on doing I always go through phases where I'm like hmm, do I want to grow up my hair and I'm currently in that phase I don't know if I'm gonna do it I think I'm just gonna protective style and just not relax and if I feel like I really need to relax I'm gonna do it and if I'm like hmm, it's going pretty well I'm just gonna go with the flow so yeah I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm transitioning again because I've done this so many times and I ended up relaxing my hair so we'll just see how it goes but anyways my hair is pretty damaged I would say um, especially in the front and I need a haircut but I just haven't gotten one yet the last time I cut my hair was last summer when I cut it into a bob um, so it's been a while, but I've been thinking of just doing some like protective styling. Um, I have a festival next week and I'm going to do this like braided ponytail that I'm probably going to keep in for like a week. If it stays looking good, maybe I'll keep it for longer. I don't really know. I've never had a braided ponytail before. So we'll just have to see how nice I can keep it. Um, and if I really enjoy it, I can like get that redone every now and then, but I also want to I don't want to do the same style too often because I notice, especially with ponytails, if I wear my hair in a high ponytail too often, my edges get thinner. They have gone thinner because I've been wearing it in like a high ponytail like almost every single day. And I like for the ponytail to be sleek, so obviously you're like pulling it tight and stuff. So now I'm trying to do low ponytails, but I really like high ponytails on me, so it's like I'm gonna do a high ponytail, but my edges need a break. So I put almond oil all over my hair. I'm gonna take the castor oil, just the black Jamaican castor oil, and put this on my edges because it's really good for like thickening your hairline and stuff. So, <clears throat> pretty much like that. So, I'm just gonna leave this in for maybe a couple of hours. I wanna do some things around the house and clean up a little 
and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash my hair. You can leave this in all day. You can leave it in for 30 minutes. You can rinse it out right after, like whatever kind of fits your schedule. But let me go quickly wash my hands and then show you what I'm gonna use to wash my hair. So the shampoo I'm gonna use is the Head and Shoulders Supreme like repairing shampoo. So this is for when you have dandruff and um, this one is argan oil so I was looking for a shampoo that was going to help with my dandruff but I didn't want to get something that was going to dry out my hair completely and actually found that this one didn't so I would recommend I guess I wouldn't get the regular one because I just I just know from experience that head and shoulders dries out my hair so bad but with this one with the argan oil the repairing one I've not experienced that so I'm going to be using this today um, my dandruff has definitely gone down a lot but I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out if my if I have dandruff or if it's the flakes from my gel. So um, I'm just going to use this today and I'm probably not going to use gel in my hair for the next week. I'm, I don't really know how I'm going to be wearing my hair yet. And for conditioners, I always switch it up, but I just want to use these up. So this is the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Hair Mask and the on Jackie's In Control Moisturizing and Softening Conditioner. So I'm going to mix these two in my hair and um just use them up and they're gonna make my hair soft so so that's pretty much that i'm gonna let this sit in my hair for a bit and then you'll see me after i've washed out my hair Now 
probably going to just put it in a ponytail as always. But yeah, this is what I do for my wash day. It's really simple. I don't like making my wash day routine too long or too, just like too much. Like it needs to be easy and fast because I don't have the patience. <laughs> and yeah, I really need to figure out some protective sign and stuff for my hair because it's not in its healthiest state, but I, I'm very lucky that I really, like, obviously I have very coarse hair, but I also just have a lot of hair. So even when my hair is like, this looks awful, I'm so sorry. Even when my hair is like breaking off, it's somewhat still like, you can't really tell because it's so full and there's so much of it. So I'm very lucky to have hair like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you didn't. Of course, subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.